What's going on guys and gals, Stock Talk here, up $1,566 in the first hour of trading today. Definitely a nice day today, market was green, being pulled up probably by Facebook and their earnings, and we've had a few low float uh, stocks hit the scanners and actually move off the scanners, not just like a blip on the screen. So that's a, a sign that maybe, just maybe these low floaters will come back to life. But nonetheless, let's get into the trades and I'll show you how I did. So my first trade this morning was YTEN. This stock, it uh, first off, there was nothing really this morning on the gap scanners that was interesting at all. Uh, and in that case, I'm just listening at that point. I'm listening to the chat rooms to see what they're looking at because they're going to be the ones that make some sort of stock move. Uh, the market, the one thing I did like about YTEN is, you know, the past few days or so, if I can pull it up, uh, the market has just kind of like tanked, right? It's been selling off pretty, pretty good down to the, you know, the 200 day moving average here. And during that time frame, YTEN hadn't done anything. It's kind of just stayed flat. So it's, you know, now that we're getting a curl in the market, if YTN didn't go down when the market was flushing out, maybe it'll go up. So that's you know one maybe one one thing in the pro column I would say that this thing had going for it. The other thing is now the chat rooms are starting to talk about it. So again, nothing on the gap scanners that was interesting. So now I'm just looking for maybe YTN to move. So uh, I watch it out of the gates. You know, here's my entry down here. You can see at 9:31 I got in at this candle right here. A little bit of volume came into it, so I jumped in looking for this. You know pre-market high of 184 to break it broke it popped up and it just kind of stalled out and when it stalled out uh it started to come back down the at, you'll see it when i do the live trade um the ask started to drop and the bid never caught up to it so i just ended up uh getting out as it was coming back down and i lost a penny and a half on it 35 dollars about i had to hold it for about four minutes or three and a half minutes three minutes you know, not something I typically like to do. I know it doesn't sound like a long time, but you know, it just didn't work out. The chat rooms, you know, my whole thesis was chat rooms are going to pump it. It's the only thing out there looking decent right now. It did have a little bit of news out. Uh, you know, they're coming at it. They're going to have a conference on Saturday, you know, two days from now. So they're the keynote speaker, you know, so there was a potential catalyst and so another thing in the pro column. So it just was the potential was there for it to go. It didn't go. They didn't jump into it. In fact, they jumped into CRK, which is one of the big runners. You'll see that hit the low float scanner in the live section of this trade. But, you know, it just didn't work out. Cut my losses. Move on. These cheaper stocks, they just don't have a lot of range. <clears throat> so in at 45, out at 40, uh, 44. Watching YTEN. It's gotten over that hump of 180. I'm long YTEN 183. Long CRK. long CRK at the half dollar. Target on this one would be uh, to add up towards a move to eight. It's obviously moving quickly. So we've got a high there of CRK of 78. So over 78 on CRK. Need 185 to break on YTEN. CRK is going. Of course, it's the one I didn't play. Just added on CRK at 76 for the break over 78. Target. DRIO hitting scanners, former runner. Tap at $8 on CRK. So let's see what this does. Looking for that tap of 8. UPS and AMZN. UPS CEO Abney says hard to predict what Amazon will do to expand its shipping capabilities, but will monitor and react 85. accordingly. Says UPS has a mutually beneficial relationship with Amazon. So that's Uniform Papa Sandy and Papa Michael Zoo in November. Letter K, Kellogg. Any there goes YTEN. At Prestigen's point, they're selling off. Nothing there for us. Okay. 
can get over 188, and I don't really see much on the ask. CRK will watch the first uh, one minute candle to make a new high over 52. Stop losses break even now on Y10. All right, I'm out. Uh, minus one on it. So my next trade was MTSL. This one I've never traded before and I'm not familiar with it. And it started hitting my low float scanner right here. And it was starting to get close to a whole dollar area. And a lot of times when these low float stocks, they get close to a whole dollar area. It's like a moth to the flames. Like it will just run start getting faster and faster momentum towards that whole dollar as traders jump into it looking for a whole dollar break. Uh, at this time in the day, we really hadn't had too much new things hitting the scanner. So this was my kind of the first one hitting the scanner. You'll see that when I run the live clip. Uh, I wasn't too interested. I had my three month chart up and then I hit my six month just to look, look back a little further. and I'm like, oh, this thing can run. I mean, it's made some pretty big runs. It'll give it all back. But it certainly can make runs. So my whole th idea on this was uh, it popped up, pulled back, and now I was getting in for a kind of just a high day break that I was hoping would start hitting people's scanners and people would start running uh, the stock up closer to two. If it got over two, maybe volume would come in, people it would start blowing up people's scanners. I'm looking at the, the chart here. I see resistance around 250. If 250 breaks, then three bucks is probably resistance. And after that, it's whole dollars and a half dollars up to, you know, up here. So uh, that was that was my, my strategy. If it didn't work out, you know, worst case scenario, again, I just stop out, low a day, I'm losing, you know, 15 cents or so. But the potential there is to make a big profit on that. And as you can see, I did sell this at 235 for a pretty big win. Uh, on 2,000 shares. So this was, this was my biggest gainer in the morning. And, you know, it, it worked out exactly right. You know, it, it creeped up. I went long right here for the high day break. We had a, you know, a pop pullback. And then this candle decided to go candle over candle. High day break is kind of what I was looking for there. Uh, and boom. As soon as it broke high a day, volume came into it as it was approaching. Um, as it was approaching that whole dollar mark, it hit hit that whole dollar mark, popped up to 250, and the rest is, uh, as you can see, history. You know, 250 was solid resistance. It did get up to 280, and you know that, that's close to that three dollar level. You can kind of see over here on this chart, it got 296. This one was 280, so a little resistance there. As we approach three, it's got a pretty extended. Um, I wasn't willing to hold through any kind of, I'm just looking for a pop on this. There's no news. It just hit my scanners. No idea why. I've never traded before. You know, I'll take 184 to 235 all day long, and I will not feel bad that I left 50 cents on the table. <laughs> you know, profit's profit. You got to take it when you have it. And, and it just worked out nicely. So I'll run the live clip and you can see how that played out. 235% downside. That's letter K. I'm going long this MTSL 184. DHI DR Horton, uh, company CEO on their conference call, says affordability in housing is just going to MTSL. become more and more difficult to maintain. That's Delta Hotel India. There's news on it. There it goes. Took a starter of MTSL, but only filled um, 2,700 shares. We'll see if MTSL holds up 
Got resistance right here. It's going now. MTSL. Chat room's jumping in it. All right, I'm out at 235. So MTSL, this is the setup where I would say let's watch the first candle to make a new high. So my next trade was MTSL again. This one was my one minute candle over candle setup that I love playing. So we had the initial pop. I was in it for that, so that was nice. Uh, but if you miss the entry and you didn't get in early, you have you, you don't want to chase, all right? That's what, how you become back holders. You just don't know where the top is. What I like to do if I don't get if I'm not in on the initial move early, I just let the th thing play out. I let the pop happen. Then I let the pullback happen, and then I will play the first one minute candle over candle. And this was a perfect setup, okay? So we have the pop here, we have pullback candles. Pullback candles are ones that don't make new highs, right? And then after the pullback, this this one's like picture perfect. Here's the VWAP line, this teal line right here. We're staying above the VWAP. I will play the first minute, first one minute candle over candle play, which would happen right here. We're inside this candle. So we have the pop, pullback, and then candle over candle. And if I was quick, I would have played this. You had actually two things going for you again. You had the half dollar break again, and you actually had candle over candle. This would have been absolutely perfect right here. If you were to get in inside this candle right here, 249, it jumped all the way to 280. All day long, 30, 31, 30 cents, 2,000 shares would have been a nice win, 600 bucks for me. But I didn't take that trade. <laughs> I was just too slow. I missed it. Uh, in f but instead, I tried to go long, looking for the high day break, which um, I, I got in. It popped up, came right back down, and I ended up selling for basically break even. But this is just one where I missed the, en the, the original entry right here. This would have been it right. Let me just uh, da -da -da. let me just do this right there. That would have been the entry. Uh, to make this play work and that is the one I should have played but I, I was chasing a little bit thinking high day is gonna break which it did but it popped and came right back down and it didn't sustain the move towards three and uh, that just tells me I need to get out especially since it's not you know chasing high a day here is not you know one of the strategies that is low risk at all it's just kind of chasing Momo and um, I probably typically wouldn't take that trade if I wasn't already up on the day at this point. But uh, I, anyways, I took it. It didn't work out. Sold it. Basically break even. And here it is. Candle over candle. Beautiful. It's got to really break this 250 area. Now we're looking for high day. As of Thursday, the carrier has inspected about 80% of the fleet. After the deadly engine a lot of selling at 250, to trying to get that next this pulse that up. On fan blades involved in the deadly engine explosion that's in uniform, Victor so comments from the CEO being a little more aggressive on it. High day of 75, that's the level we want to see snap. added at 75 so like we were just talking about this one minute play we had the pop pull back candle over candle entry right here would have been perfect i chased didn't work out right so this setup my one minute patent oh i just messed up this chart didn't i <laughs> oh gosh let me fix this oh my goodness okay so this play worked out nicely that's the first time we've had the play the setup i should say pop pull back candle over candle i missed it so now i look for the second time see if we get the same kind of move same kind of pop 30 cents whatever the second time so here's the pop pull back and now i'm looking for the first time we go candle over candle which is right here right we're inside this candle that's when i want to go long i go long at 272 right i mean perfect entry i like it pops all the way to 280 and we double top there and when i see what we double top sellers come in i hit the market and i sell and i actually got a really bad fill i thought i was going to break even on the trade but i end up losing you know uh what is that you know seven cents six cents on the trade 120 dollars uh like i thought i was going to break even uh, and it's so key that if you know if you're 
this is a good trade in my opinion. This is a good trade that just didn't work out. It's not a bad trade. There's, it's completely different. Bad trade is you know chasing all through here. You know you didn't get in early, so you just jump in at some point in this, and you just hope it goes higher. That's a bad trade. This is a good entry. It's just a trade that didn't work out. Now we have a double top here at 280, and it just couldn't break it. And as it come back down, you know when I see this candle over candle. This, you know, the setup pop, pull back, candle over candle. I want to see it blow through, head towards three, just kind of like the first time it did, right? When I only see a jump of nine cents, that's telling me it's getting a little tired. Need to need to let it go, and I'm glad I did because, as you can see, it just sold off from there. And you know, at the end of the day, it's just giving it all back. So you have to listen to the setups. You know, if it doesn't do, and I always say this in every single video, if a, if a play doesn't do what you thought it was going to do or expected it to do, you've got to let it go. And in this case, you know, I didn't become a bag holder. I lost $120, which is okay because it could have been way worse, right? So here's the live trade. Candle 70. Over 270, I'll probably so jump in. Watch for a break of 70. All right, I'm in to 272. 70, anticipating the break over 80. Big seller at 80. I'm out. There, but I think as oh my that seller moves, gosh. Snap and we're be up Actually, $10. how did I lose money on that? I lost. I lost on that one. I got in at 272 and I lost seven cents on it. I'm probably gonna have to call my broker on that one. That's a garbage fill. So this next trade on ACAD, this was an, a news play here, right? So yesterday they had some really bad news that the FDA was going to look at their drug that they have out now, and it sent the stock down from twenty dollars down to fifteen bucks. So they have a drug that's, you know, their their money maker, I guess, and uh, it's been out now. There's rumors that uh, the FDA is going to relook at that drug and see if it needs to be pulled or not right that was the rumor set the stock down quite a bit then jp morgan comes out and you'll hear the news live as i heard it uh it comes out saying that they spoke with acad uh and they're saying that there's zero chance this drug gets pulled there's been no deaths blah 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 so with that in mind i go long and you can kind of see this is where the news came out. The volume comes out, pops all the way up to this area here. I really thought that would send this thing back into maybe 17, 16, 17, whatever. But it didn't. Um, so what happens is I buy right when I hear the news right here. Let's see. Uh, 1562. This is where I buy right in here on this candle here. That's where I buy. You'll see me buy. It pops up. And I just, at this point, you know, I'm looking, I'm really looking to hold this and let it let it run. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to get a dollar or two out of this thing. And it just didn't happen. So I ended up setting my stop loss uh, at one point. I think I sold a thousand shares uh, just to make some money. Yeah, I sold a thousand at basically 16. I sold the rest. Um, wait a minute. Where I sold the rest. Oh yeah, there it is. Sold the rest at fifteen ninety four, and I. It was just the candle under. The first time we'd get candle under candle, uh, I I would get out. So I, it was kind of like a trailing stop. As this thing moved up, we were say we're inside this candle. I'd set my stop right here. Well, we moved to this candle, you know, and I, I'd step set my stop at the low of the previous candle. If it broke that, then you know it's gonna signal a downtrend. I'm just gonna get out. So. Um, it worked out nicely. Didn't get the huge move that I thought, and in fact, sold off even more after after the defense came out. But again, a nice little win on the news play. ACAD Acadia, J.P. Morgan now with a note that spoke to management, including head of regulatory. Says we believe that the product has a lower zero chance of being pulled from the market. It's all noise. Management believes today's CNN report is nothing new. Yeah, Further, management strongly reiterated their view. I'm long ACAD. There no They're saying that Acadia. there's it's zero chance that their drug is pulled. That no That's from JP Morgan. Morgan. I'm long 1563. This thing dropped five dollars off of the news that FDA is going to relook at their drug. So, 
any kind of news like this. Here's Acadia getting a pop here. Probably get this thing a pop. At JP Morgan. That's Alpha Charlie Alpha Delta. 1574 off the high now. Let's see if the market believes this news or not. Uh, share is continuing to move higher now. 15. Yeah, so keep on watching for a five minute pattern, see if it holds up. Now at the highs, 1598. Alpha Charlie, Alpha Delta. Yeah, DRIO not holding up. Looking for the 16 break on ACAD. Sixteen. All right, put a stop loss at six. Coming up at ten thirty. Just got filled. <laughs> Natural gas storage. It sold half at sixteen. Twelve BCF. Stop loss on the rest is under fifteen ninety. I'm just using the low of the previous one minute candle as my stop loss now. I already locked in quite a bit there on that first bit. This thing can move quite a bit. It's down, like I said, $5 on news that the FDA is going to be re-looking at their drug. They said there's no fatalities on their drug. Uh, it was actually a senator that started this. So, you know, what do senators know? But um, yeah, I'll just use the low of the previous one minute candle as my stop loss for the rest of so 1590 right now. And I'll just keep moving it up. So here, I'm NAKD starting to move. I'm in a NAKD 151. NAKD, another lower float stock hitting the scans. This one hasn't moved much, so I'm willing to jump in early. Former runner, but honestly, looking at the daily chart, it hasn't moved much in the past, so I might just bail here. All right, stopped out the rest, 1594. Uh, my next trade, I, it, what was actually NAKD, it hit my low float scanner, didn't do anything, I cut it loose, minus two, boring trade, not gonna go over it. But after that was LEDS. This one wasn't paying attention to all day. I traded it a few times the past couple of months, or months, days. As you can see, it's kind of getting kind of poppy and just running into this resistance level here at $5. Uh, I wasn't gonna play it today, but one of the chat rooms I, I subscribe to mentioned it. I pop, I pop over to it. I see that it's in the um, the 490s, uh, and when I see that, it's about to break high a day. I jump in just for a whole dollar scalp. I know a lot of people like to play whole dollar moves, so um, I go long, breaks over f five, and at that point, I'm just waiting. I'm watching the L2 for an exit. This is what I'm doing. So the L2 goes 505, like. 508 or you know whatever it's moving up and as soon as it moves down like it goes 508 and then it goes 505 I hit the sell button and that just tells me it's losing momentum it's heading back down when it does that I hit the sell button I actually sell at 50 
basically 502. So it was a you know six cent win. I thought I was getting a little bit more than that, but uh, you, you can see it was the right decision because the break of five happened, hit 510, and then boom, washed out all the way to 480. So um, a lot of people they'll play these whole dollar breaks, but a lot of times also you got to look at the daily chart. There's a lot of resistance there at five bucks, and it played out right through here as sellers just came in and dropped this thing 30 cents in a matter of a second. You'll see it. It's, it was pretty ugly. So uh, this was just a scalp. Um, you know, this isn't what this one's been played out as well. It's this is the third day now that chat rooms have run this thing up. It's getting a little tired. Now it's collecting some bag holders. So, you know, there's probably people that have been stuck in it, you know, two days worth of getting stuck in at five and they're just happy to get out. So all those things kind of go into a trade. You know, the more you trade, the more you'll see these things and the more you'll have, you'll process them, process them much faster. But this one was just a quick scalp in and out, uh, five cents, hundred dollars. Two to LADS at five. It'd have to be a quick one, I think. In at five. Out I'm long three. LADS four ninety six. I'm long at five on um, LADS for quick scout. Out five oh one. Ooh, that dropped quick. Add over five uh, twenty five if it breaks that level. And that's how I finished the first morning of trading up one thousand five hundred sixty five dollars. Uh, good day for sure. Definitely nice on the back of yesterday. I made over. $2,300 yesterday at the end of the day, by the end of the day. So really good day for me today, really good day yesterday. If you're interested in, at all in how I trade, my trading style, my techniques, please come into my free Discord chat and learn. If you're a person that's losing money as you trade and you don't know why and you need help, please come into my free Discord chat. Link is in the bottom of the description if you're watching on YouTube. Come in here, learn how to trade. There's plenty of other people in here that wanna help. We started this Discord channel because there's, you know, you can pay for help through, you know, the chat rooms that are out there and services. But, you know, I know when I first started trading, there wasn't anybody out there that would do it for free. And I didn't have the money to pay for a chat room. I eventually saved up and I was able to afford it. But, you know, for beginning, and even then, you know, to get a hold of the main guy in the chat room, it's hard to do. So I opened this chat room. We have other people in here that help out. We're here to help new traders. And if you're an experienced trader, we'd love to have you as well. You know, come on in, call out what you see. You know, it's a friendly environment. It's a good group of people. And we're just here to make some money. If you're interested in, in any of the chat rooms I subscribe to or the news sources I subscribe to, a link for all those is in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.